Good morning, everyone. Last night, actually, I'm going to talk about, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about, all right, I had wet dreams, nocturnal emissions. I'm going to speak about my experience with those the last two nights. Um, right now, I'm on day 65 of my semen retention journey. Uh, my, my, my biggest streak has been 300 days. Um, I'll talk about that in a later video, 90 days, and why I'm at 60 days right now, and the lessons that I learned all the way through. So right now I'm at like 65 days, and everything's been going smooth. The first 30 days was extremely rough, I felt down, depressed. It really took its toll on me. I thought I thought this one was over. I was like, man, I can't do this anymore. It's just not, you know, it's it's not worth it, you know. But then I realized all the benefits. I saw how far I came. And then I started to really think about it. I'm like, do I really want to go back to that shitty, depressed, slow, mundane, fit in, <clears throat> material world like it just wasn't worth it like I saw what what could be done and I saw where I could be and I just had to keep telling myself it's only temporary like this is going to pass just like everything else I'm not going to be stuck you know depleted for the next hundred days so it's just a matter of time so I just had to suck it up just keep going <clears throat> get back on the grind <coughs> go to the gym Get out of bed, go to sleep early, wake up early, turn off Instagram, delete that app, and start getting on my purpose. You know, like a lot of stuff happened during that time. Um, you know, I, I lost three jobs, a business plan that was supposed to go through fell through. So pretty much when it rains, it pours. <laughs> You know, to say the least. So I had a relapse. I lost two working positions. You know, it wasn't paid work, but it was, you know, it gave me purpose until my business was set up. My business partner on the other business, the day of, decided that they didn't want to embark on that journey with me. And they made a decision to go in a different direction, which is totally cool. And I understand that being in business, it's, it is what it is. Like, I'm not forcing anything. I'm just going with the flow. So all this stuff started hitting me. Um, a relationship that I was kind of in, and I'll talk about that at a different point, which was just a whole learning experience in itself on semen retention. Like, you know, I can't even begin to explain that now. So <clears throat> that's kind of like the backstory. So everything kind of crumbled. It all fell, fell. Um, do I think it was from the relapse? I doubt it. I think it was just a learning lesson that I had to go through. Um, and if I could withstand adversity and, you know, is the foundation really that strong or is it a facade? Am I just going through the motions or am I really who I say I am? So this was a major, major test and it was a good, good earthquake, let's say. It was a great earthquake to rattle the earth rattle me, my grounding, and really see if I'm really who I say I am. And it, 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 it showed all the cracks. It showed where the foundation wasn't solid. So I'm, I'm here to work on it. So now here we are. I'm on day 65. Day 1 through 30, it was brutal. I was sad, depressed. The glow was gone. I was in my head. I couldn't get in my body. I started noticing that I fall into like the old patterns. My diet changed a bit. My gym changed a bit. And I'm like, oof, oof, this isn't good. You know, so this is going on for about 30 days. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to Bali. Be excited. It's a great trip. You're going to have fun. Just go. Enjoy yourself. Don't worry about all this shit. Okay, fuck it. I go. I'm enjoying myself. 
things start coming to me out there and I'm like, oh man, here we go. Like more tests. I guess this is, you know, this is day 40. This is what happens around day 40. The glow comes back. My strength in the gym came back. My creative energy came back. Everything started kicking in. I was like, beautiful. The sun's shining. I'm in Bali. You know, uh, you know, I'm not out there being a digital nomad or just being a weirdo out there. I kind of, you know, stay low key, go to the gym, eat local food. I don't do all the tour. I do the tourist stuff. I go to like the waterfalls, the rice field. I kind of hang with the people. I got some good friends out there, some local, local people. So, you know, I go there to kind of give back. I help out and, you know, feed people and do charity work while I'm out there. That's all I'm there for. Um, <clears throat> So back to what's going on now. So I go to Bali. Temptation is there. I'm leveling up. Every time you say no or you let somebody down, you gain experience points, like in a video game, XP. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to keep leveling up left and right. On the airplane for 20 hours, I listened to Brene Brown, Power of Vulnerability. This was big time life changing and like really showed all my cracks and like all the stuff I was really going through. I'm like, man, I'm not being vulnerable enough. I'm not being authentic enough. And I'm holding on to a bit of shame, a bit of guilt. And, you know, I got to work through this. So what better place than Bali? I'll do some journaling. I'll really pick out my, you know, I'll really take a hard look at what I'm really doing. So this time around, um, I can succeed with the journey. I can easily, you know, move through these things. This is my growth. This was the, man, this this was some growth I had to go through. So I had to be more vulnerable. So it's easy to practice in a place like Bali. Well, you'll meet some open-minded people. Um, you'll never really see them again. So it's kind of easy to, to be vulnerable, open up about stuff, and, you know, speak your honest truth because, you know, what do you really have to lose? You know, it's not like you're going to go to the gym tomorrow and see them every day for the next 365 days. So it's kind of like uh, a little bit of a cheat code. So it was it was like practice mode for me. So I'll, I'll, I'll take it, you know, and I'll learn from it. So I'll tell those experiences later with the vulnerability. So, all right, I come home from Bali. I'm on day 65. This is two days ago. I came back a week ago. I still have Instagram. I'm in contact with a few different women. I went to the gym two days ago. I'm feeling that superhuman energy. It feels amazing. I'm in the gym. I'm doing unlimited reps, unlimited sets. I'm just not getting tired. So all the energy is coming back. I know what this feeling is. So I'm just embracing it. And I'm really, really staying focused and staying to myself. I'm staying centered. You know, I'm not waving. I'm not like falling into other people's energy. The gym is a tough place. So sometimes a lot of people will stare at you. Um, women will work out next to you. They will stare at you. You know, I, I know what choosing signals are and you will get a ton of choosing signals, whether they're blatant or not so blatant. You know, you'll go from them just stopping and staring at you and smiling to them just brushing up against you, them walking past you, them, you know, with the, the subtle gestures, you know, and then you'll just see it out of the corner of your eye, you know, but I, I, I just, I just ignored all of it, pretended I didn't see it. And that's a struggle in itself. It feels really awkward and weird, but I don't even entertain it. I don't smile. I just act like it didn't even happen. So during that time, <clears throat> you really, really get validated. I'm a Leo. I love attention. So during this time, I was really, really getting a lot of validation. And I'm just sitting to myself saying, Jeff, you do not need that validation. You do not need attention from anyone. Everything you have is inside you. You don't need shit from anybody. Okay? Keep working out, doing my thing, just feeling good. My energy's high, <clears throat> you know, and then I go home. I'm having conversations with with this girl that I met in Bali via Instagram, you know, and I 
I try not to go on Instagram, but lately I've been on Instagram because I met a lot of people in Bali. Um, and that's how we communicate. They all want to, you know, hey, do you have Instagram? Sure, here's my Instagram. So that's how I, I, I stayed in touch with these people. So I'm being in touch with this person and we had great conversations in Bali about vulnerability. So I'm like, all right, let me practice some vulnerability on her. So I'm messaging her and I can feel her attraction, her, 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 her fondness of me for a lack of better words. So, you know, I'm going through it. I feel a bit of a connection. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's try and be vulnerable. I'm asking vulnerable questions. I'm saying, let's go deeper and like really connect and see, see, see how deep we can go, <clears throat> you know, and I'm feeling like really good, you know, I'm feeling really godly in not an arrogant, prideful way, but like godly and like, I'm ready to be a father and I can be a father to many children and just feeling really good like that, like I can take care of them, I can hold that responsibility and I'm ready. So I'm like, okay, I need to gain some vulnerability and, you know, just really practice. So I'm practicing, this is two days ago. I ask a question, I say, hey, what do you think you and I both agree on? You know, what's something you think we both wholeheartedly agree on? And this is a really great intimacy building question. So I'm not going to go into the conversation, but that's how it started. So I went on and, you know, lasted about 30 minutes, got pretty intimate. And I was like, all right, not intimate in sexual, but intimate in, you know, I know a couple deeper things and a deeper connection. So after that, I'm laying in bed and mind you, I'm sleeping in just my underwear. You know, usually I wear like sweatpants or something, but tonight I just had underwear on. And I go to bed. I took melatonin, 2.5 milligrams to help me fall asleep and beat the jet lag. Um, normally I don't do that, but for some reason this night I was like, let me take some melatonin. So I took it. All of a sudden I pass out. I remember nothing. I went to bed. I woke up in the morning, I went to the bathroom, and <clears throat> when I pulled my pants down to, to use the toilet, um, you know, I felt like my underwear was, was like a little wet. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Did I like pee in my pants last night? Like, what is this? You know, it was really strange. So I kind of was like, all right, weird looking at it. It wasn't like a lot or like, you know, because I'm like, if I peed in my pants, I mean, it would have been a fucking mess, you right? You know, like, it was just like, a, you know, like a, a small spot, you know, kind of like this, you know, it's water, I brush my teeth. Um, you know, just like, a, you know, a small spot. All right, so I'm like, all right, fuck, did I, did I do what I think I did? Did I really, uh, let it fly in the middle of the night for no reason like fuck you know and I'm feeling like groggy I'm like okay probably the melatonin I'm feeling a little like lower energy I'm feeling a little groggy like slow motion okay the melatonin probably don't want to take that again if I want to you know keep high energy it's just not worth it like I didn't really need to take that you know and it was it was stupid don't don't take that shit it's not worth it it's not just go to bed, go outside all day, be in the sun, and you know, you know, you'll be fine. So don't take melatonin. It's not worth it. It's stupid. It makes you groggy. It's just, it's just another drug to control you. Like don't, don't take this shit. So, <clears throat> um, so, all right. So back to the story. So, so I, I, this happened, and I'm like, mm, what the fuck did I really? You know, and I think I did. I'm like, oh, I did. You know, and then I started feeling a little bit guilty. And I'm like, there's nothing to feel guilty about. Shit happens. You know, you didn't relapse. Don't go through the whole cycle. You don't go to zero. You know, it was unconscious. You didn't mean to do it. So I'm like touching it. I smell it. And I'm like, all right, I fucking did it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I don't even remember like having sex in the dream. So it was just like, maybe, I don't know, maybe it just leaked out. I really don't know. So then I started like, just like 
letting it go. I'm like, just let it go. Like it, it can't possibly drain you that much and like take its toll on you like that. Like it really can't, you know, I'm not a relapse. I'm not counting it. It just doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to go about my day. I'm going to continue. I'm going to go work in the gym, do other things. Well, that day the gym kind of sucked a little bit. I was a little bit slow motion. Um, I was a little lazy in the day. Uh, I would have found myself seeking validation, looking around for the attention, blah, 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 blah. So then the next day comes around. All right, let it all go. Just get back to the grind. Now I'm grinding. I'm going through it. You know, I'm feeling a lot better. You know, I'm out in public. I'm talking to people. I'm searching for media people, a writer, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's irrelevant. So I'm feeling good. And I'm still kind of looking for that attention, attraction, whether it comes from men or women. I'm around a lot of people. Usually when I'm around a lot of people, people normally will gravitate towards me, come up to me, talk to me, and just really, you know, just just, just be around me and interact with me. So, like, it's not really happening today. And I'm like, this is odd. I'm in a large gathering close to people, and not too many people are engaging with me. So I'm starting to feel a certain type of way and I got to remember, just let it go. It's not all about that. And if you're seeking that attention, that is a lustful behavior. You know, that's just as bad as the lust and arrogance and pride and ego. So I'm just like, let's drop the shit. I drop it, go back to the gym that night. I do my workout. I don't think about anybody. I just get through it. I smile. I stay positive. Things are great. I eat good food. I go home. I go to bed. I, I, I don't know if I played on Instagram too much. I didn't talk to the same girl again that night. You know, I just kind of went to bed. When I went to bed that night, at one point during my, my rest or when I was sleeping, I distinctly remember my interaction with, I guess you want to call it a succubus spirit. And this day I got a lot of likes on Instagram and a Quite a bit of attention, actually. Actually, this day I got a shitload of attention. You know, this was the day after this day. Sorry about that. This day, I got a shitload of attention. Like in the gym, it was unreal. Instagram was unreal. Everything about it was unreal. I was like, just feeling godly. I'm like, just stay humble. No arrogance, no pride. And I'm just doing all the things I need to do. I'm smiling at the people and just saying hi and moving along and being about my business. But I could feel, feel all the energy coming towards me. And I was just like absorbing it. Like tons of sexual off flow from, from the women and the conversation. I'm just like feeling it. So my sexual energy is through the roof and I'm transmuting it in the gym and taking it in and working out harder, taking it in, working out harder. I'm not getting full of myself. I'm not, I'm just staying humble. <clears throat> So this night, I go to bed in my dream. At one point, I'll reenact the dream. I'm at a party walking around. A woman grabs me. We go off to the side. We start making out. And then we're making out. I'm touching her. She's exposing herself. And this was so fucking real in the dream and it was just like a quick nonchalant and I'm doing my thing with her at the party I'm not thinking twice and during it I kind of like tried to see her face and it was you know a shadow and it was short and I couldn't really see but I, everything was good it felt good and I'm like you know just not thinking and I'm like all right and then I start touching her and then I start, start touching her down there and I'm like all right, just don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm like, fuck it. Fuck it. I'll just, I'll just do it a little bit and I won't bust the nut. So like, as I started to lift her skirt up and, you know, do my thing before I even got in there, I got so excited. Something happened in me and I jumped back and I just felt like a machine gun. It was like, and I'm like, oh fuck. I just busted everywhere before I even got inside her and then when I kind of you know felt stupid for busting before even getting inside her and that I even let that happen 
you know, the face kind of flashed at me, and it was just like this evil black eyes. I don't know what the fuck it was, like some evil, wild looking thing, and it kind of just went on its way, and then I was stuck like this, you know, holding my fucking seed in my hand, essentially, like my my child. I'm like, ah, you know, my child. Uh, you know, what did I do? It's dead. I'm like, fuck, really? I did this shit. So then when I woke up in the morning, I went to take a piss and my underwear was a fucking mess. It was a mess. I blasted all over the shit. So now, now I'm feeling a little bit guilty. I'm like, oh shit, is this a problem? Because before it was unconscious, I don't know what happened, it leaked. This one, I knew damn well what I was doing in that dream and I knew exactly what happened, when it happened, where it happened, and how it happened. So I'm like, ugh, in my setback, because I'm tired of these setbacks. Like, I'm going hard. I'm not having lustful thoughts. I'm practicing almost like brahmacharya, you know, really kind of like getting to it. So I'm like, fuck, man. Don't want to go through this again. So I'm Googling it. I'm watching YouTube. And some say that the relapse is don't count if you don't know about it and some say if it is a sexual encounter it's kind of like a relapse but you only lose a bit of your energy so then the next day i felt like shit throughout the day but i think it was just all mental and it was just me projecting the guilt and the shame and then you know feeling all bad inside so like you know like my aura was a little bit depressed and dark so of course when you go out in public and you walk around people are going to sense that about you and they're not going to realize, you know, they're just going to feel it. Like you're not going to get that magnetism. Your, your, your glow isn't going to be there because you're in your head, the relapse, I did this, I did that, you know, and you're just feeling guilty and shame and all those low vibration stuff is happening like on David Hawkins vibrational chart. So you're just playing in a low vibration. <laughs> okay, I can deal with that. I'll get over it. I made it through the day. I went to the gym, no attention. All right, deal with it. Accept it, acknowledge it, and be vulnerable and just be honest with yourself. Like, yeah, you did it. You know, and backtrack it and say, okay, what actions led up to this? Okay, a lot of sexual offflow from the attention from the women at the gym. I guess I didn't transmute it enough. Am I on my purpose? To a degree, but I'm not fully working yet. So I'm doing the best I can. I'm getting creative using these videos, I'm journaling, I am working out two times a day, I'm going for walks, I'm staying in the sun, I'm meditating, I'm doing all the things, I'm staying active, I don't listen to music, I went to bed peacefully. I think the biggest problem is Instagram. You know, like, I don't have, like, women on my Instagram, I scroll, I look at, like, nature and stupid shit, but it still rocks my dopamine, I get headaches. I think it's absolutely fucking useless like don't use the thing you know so i think it's just flashing images here and there and i'm getting pieces of it and it's lowering my willpower it's crushing my dopamine so like it's really dropping me down and bringing me a bit unconscious so i'm gonna delete instagram soon so that was my experience with the relapse i did lose energy um, the next day, this is day two of it. I feel great. I feel energized. I feel like it didn't even happen. I didn't have a nocturnal omission, wet dream last night. You know, and I feel feel good. So we'll see what happens. And I'll make another video.